lot of time and a lot of um, a lot of resources uh, rebuilding um, the, uh, the support for the Canadian Armed Forces during the course of the past uh, five and a half years um, in, in the government of Canada. My uh, my friend Peter McKay, who I used to think he was my friend, he used to invite me on these trips um, and, and he used to talk to me about it's important for you to learn on these trips about kit. And I was thinking, well, kit is like rifles and helmets and berets and life jackets and things like that. I found out soon, no, no, it's about ships and tanks and helicopters and things that cost millions and billions of, of dollars. And I thank Peter for educating me on that. And of course, we're, we're maintaining our course in, in supporting the, uh, the rebuilding of the foundations of the Canadian Armed Forces here. And I thank you. You don't hear this often from the Minister of Finance. So thank you all for the taxes you pay, because your taxes pay for all of this and your hard work. And you should, of course, thank, thank your parents. I'm also inspired today. I had a chance before we started to speak to some of the some of the students. You know, when we um, we struggle in the financial world now with a, a fragile recovery and certainly challenges in Europe and the United States and um, and elsewhere. And we have lots of meetings around the world about these subjects to meet young people who are uh, striving successfully in various endeavors at different universities across our country to achieve their goals. I tell you it. Uh, it renews one faith in, um, in the uh, future of our country. So I thank all of you, and uh, especially the two of you who spoke so well this morning about what, um, what motivates you and uh, your appreciation for the great work that Blake and others have done.